Um, before I start you off, uh, this show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Have you heard of it? You probably have. Go sign up uh, for one now. Uh, ExpressVPN.com slash RTTV. Down at that link. I'm looking at it because sometimes it's I forget. It's your name. It's <laughs> <laughs> Hi, ExpressVPN. It's my VPN. name. It's ExpressVPN. <laughs> um, join us in chat. Uh, register for a free Rooster Teeth account right now, and you can join us in chat, which is what I said at the beginning of this. Um, accounts are free. I also said that. I may have said that already. <laughs> The day. Um, uh, we can talk about first later. Bert. Um, Bert. Uh, this Thursday uh, is our 18th anniversary at Rooster Teeth. Wow. You know what that means, wow. right? We're going to college, baby. We're going to oh. space. No, we're going to space. <laughs> what the hell is college? I have to, I have to redo it. College, we go to space. Oh. We get senior year. Oh my God. College. Um, I all got school. really excited. <laughs> Everyone got really excited. I actually, I'm, I'm kind of in love with it though. We have an anniver anniversary stream uh, for that day this Thursday, starting 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. You'll see Noel and me at some point, sometime in the morning. Sometime um, in the morning. Sometime in the morning. Uh, and then it's some other really exciting stuff happening that day. So make sure you guys come back around Thursday to watch us live. And the last thing I really want to uh, call out is that we have a trans visibility awareness. Uh, it is a week as well. God, I'm really sorry about. <laughs> this but we have a collection <laughs> what we lovingly call the Caden collection up in the store right wow. now amazing um based off of the concept Ooh. of magical girl transformations from anime uh all donations or all proceeds i should say will be donated to the marsha p johnson institute uh for Ooh, I want to get this right. So I'm going into another tab um, in support of their efforts in protecting and defending the rights of black transgender people. All the designs uh, are made by our dear friend Quinn V. Jensen. So please check it out on store.roosterteeth.com. You are supporting a great cause. And actually, Erin um, has a nice oh, postcard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if we want to cut to me. I mean, if you, I donated it in the past. So they sent me a nice little thank you card. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, and nice it's shiny. Note. It is. It's so cute. Yay. Yeah. Check it out. Um, yeah. Good cause. That one merch, that one shirt's on like some Kingdom Hearts level shit. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's so cool. A, it's cool. A key sword? Like, what? <laughs> what? A key axe. <laughs> a key axe. Oh. Cool. Um, oh. And yay! I I can introduce the show, guys. Welcome <laughs> to I Have Notes. I am your host today, Issa Vanilla. Express oh, VPN. Yeah, um, yeah. My co-host, <laughs> co Noel Wiggins. Hello. Yay! Yeah, yeah. One thing, right, back. Real, real quick, real quick. Back to yeah. that, that Kingdom Hearts type axe sh shred and blade weapon. I feel like if someone attacked me with that, I would re before dying, I would actually compliment them on their <laughs> weaponry because that shit just looks so cool. First, but, I uh, wouldn't know where to look. I'm like, which one's going to kill me? And, like, <laughs> which, which part? and then I'm like, you did good. <laughs> you did good kid you did you good did. kid uh, cole, you, cole you're a treasure <laughs> treasure's my favorite thing Actually, it's, in my top, it's definitely my top three treasure okay. treasure, yes. treasure. Um, yeah. <laughs> i should introduce you as well uh we have our special special aaron win most specialist guest i'm back most special. the specialist by the popular specialist. demand aaron. by popular demand aaron i hope so and we're then done. Aaron, do the do the Metal Gear Solid thing again. Do the sneaky oh, Aaron. Dun, 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 dun. Aaron. There we go. Aaron. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like you for like the Smash Brothers announcer, like Aaron win. <laughs> that would be awesome. Game. Let me have Cole. And Game if you and haven't, watch. if you haven't realized, guys, it's Cole Galleon. It is our treasure. <laughs> it is our is it, it is our best our best boy. One of my favorite things is treasure. You have to guess the other two. <laughs> Is it in the treasure? Is it a part of the treasure? Sometimes it can be in. Well, I what guess. kind of treasure? One's more of a concept. One's adventure. Mm. Which can be a treasure. The other one's murder. Oh, boy. Oh, Which wait, you told us to guess, to but treasure. I guess you. I guessed. I got it right. You, you, got, you, got it, you guessed yeah. your own favorite. <laughs> I guessed. I got it right. Wait, so what murder, treasure, treasure and order. adventure? Which yeah. one is the. Where does murder go? Is it one or three? One or two? It's three. Okay. Three, oh, my yeah. God. So Who are you three. murdering? 
for the treasure. The business. Oh, okay. he goes on. Yeah. He goes Alan. on the adventure, wants the, the business, treasure, Alan. but then commits the murder to get the no. treasure. But yeah. then once he takes the treasure, it's at a cost because yeah. that takes us into Act Three. And then, yeah. and then once mm. he returns with the treasure, there's, there's again that cost again, and, and then he comes back completely yeah. changed. But then you bury the treasure again. so that way another person can have an adventure. And that oh. is and uh, come the and kill journey. you. That yeah. is Cole's journey. Yeah. Cole's journey. Wow, Thank that was you. a whole anime Thank plot you. right there. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's called One Piece. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, autobiography. Welcome, guys. 9, <laughs> One Piece, Cole's my autobiography. Yeah. Hello, everyone. How are howdy, you? Howdy. Do what? How are you? Me? Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh. Uh, today, speaking do, truthfully, I'm like meh. Does today feel <laughs> weird? Does today feel weird for anyone? It feels a weird for bit. me. Like I'm just kind of chilling right now. I just want to like. Oh, you have a chill day. I'm quite the opposite. I have had a very busy day. Aaron's and usually busy. I yeah. wish. Yeah, Tuesdays are my busiest day, and uh, it's a so, little rough. I, I, I started. I started teaching Sean. Sean Hines, the uh, the the one of the heads, joint heads of animation. I started teaching Sean Hines that Tuesdays are actually the worst day. They are. Like. Everyone's always like, oh, Mondays. I hate Mondays. Mondays suck. But you oh, expect a Monday. Yeah. Yes. I'm prepared you expect for Monday. it. You don't expect Tuesday, and you still have the rest of the week. Heck, don't yes. remind me. Yeah. Before we started, I thought today was Friday. I really wanted I it wish to be I Friday. Was I wish I was Tuesday. You're and right. Tuesday what sucked. happens when you found out it was Tuesday? I so so when I found out Aaron Aaron kind of alluded to it a little bit you said you had a chill day I didn't have a chill day I just decided to throw away all my responsibilities and then I just did oh. this whenever people started hitting me up for emails I was just oh, like no. I'm just gonna, you sit, you, I'm just you sit back relax and let the money roll in yeah <laughs> oh my god that's so, what we called uh, that <laughs> the consequences will come later like on a Wednesday the consequences HR will show is writing up. their email right now but, to fire but here's you. Tuesday here's Tuesday to all of my responsibilities I, right now there's, <laughs> there's this comic on Reddit that was like uh today today me oh I'll leave it to future me and future me goes that bitch <laughs> <laughs> that'll be you Noel <laughs> procrastination right. is what I'm so good at <laughs> it's the best it's I'm, so good I'm I'm bummed for more serious reasons I don't know oh no it's a uh, I don't know whether to really if I really want to bring the mood down, but I would just okay. it's a uh, don't be a good neighbor, don't don't spread hate. Uh, uh, yes, the I watched. Golden rule. Good I God. watched a video uh, kind of unintentionally last night, and I'm if you guys see my Twitter, it's like I've just been kind of retweeting a lot of different mm -hmm. stuff, but it's just it. There's this common sentiment that's going on where people who talk about it, it's like I watched it and my day is completely ruined or it's just I lost a day because I'm just so emotionally fraught yeah um and this is probably the second time I'm probably gonna cry on live so I'm trying to stop myself right now no, so okay. um <laughs> there's so many things wrong and I'm here because I just want to feel better um oh. <laughs> so uh there's intervention training somewhere online i don't have a link right now but um please google it um i am heartbroken um and stop api hate <laughs> thanks for listening of course isa of course we're, all, we're always here for you thanks we'll, we'll cheer you up thank you this is a, a friendship time slash uh group therapy time oh thank you thank you that's right <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was uh, going to bring up that Netflix documentary. What is it? Uh, sea Spiracy, so we can feel even more like crap for oh, uh, no. food in the ocean. But I won't do that. But by the way, <laughs> it should have been called Conspiracy. It's so yeah. easy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I yeah. saw those TikToks no. where they were like, well, I didn't think of it. It was those TikToks that I saw where they were like, Sea Spiracy, Conspiracy C? is right there. It's right. <laughs> it's like, uh, was it was it Dan Harmon that did the thing about the movie? Uh, what what is it now you see me or or is yeah it, what, what is it what is it I, that was i was i heard my brother my brother and me talking about where it's like now you see me and then they named the next movie now, now you see, you see me, me too who signed off on that who... i watched those movies too and i was just Why? like damn it <laughs> well, he said were they were they did you enjoy them I did. I uh, okay. I liked the first one, and the second one was kind of just like, oh, uh, like an evolved bullshitting form of the first one in terms of like, oh wow, look at all this cool CG like magic stuff. Um, I think if you if you enjoyed the first one, you'll probably enjoy the second one. I watched it primarily because Daniel Radcliffe was in it, and um, 
in, he's, he's just in the and second he has one. snack though. He's in the second one. He has snack though. He's a snack oh. though. That's a okay, treasure. Well, that's a treasure. <laughs> The boy wizard. Things. No, the man <laughs> wizard now. Yeah, I, need an, I need an explanation now because I haven't seen Now You See Me 2, the worst title ever. Someone explain, <laughs> how, is, how, is, uh, how, is, how is Mr. Potter a snack? Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter. Oh, okay, so uh, Daniel, Now You See Me 2. Oh, man, it's been a hot second. Um, <laughs> uh, Daniel Radcliffe plays like the son of a billionaire who uh, he's a billionaire himself and i think he like hires the magic people to like get something for him kind of like all of charlie's angels right Ooh, um okay harry's uh, angels got it harry's angels yeah uh, oh, harry harry potter oh harry's <laughs> angels good one good one cole um and uh yeah I, I that's kind of his role i i feel like i may have spoiled it by equating him to charlie's angels so uh I think you're fine. I think you're just giving me. Now you see I don't think yeah. anyone's gonna go More see it. Incentive to watch it. Deal with it, chat. Yeah, you got it's fine. From now you see me too. Wait, it's, got, it's got Morgan Freeman in it. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. I'm looking at. I'm, I'm looking at what Tyler just threw in in in, in our Discord. Oh yeah. Um, it's oh, got Morgan just... Freeman. There he is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's got Mark he... Ruffalo. Oh, oh yeah, man. Mark Mark Ruffalo. Mark uh, uh, Ruffles chips. Okay. Okay. Ruffles chips. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I like. I just like the now you see me thing. I, I, if they make another movie, I will probably, uh, if I get vaccinated by that point, I will, I will spend money to watch it in a theater because it's kind of like my trash kind of like action movie. Um, yeah. It's your Fast oh, and Furious? My Fast and Furious, yeah. I like the first one, so. I don't know what's happened with me, but in that, like, in that vein, I'm becoming more okay with nonsense. Mm. Like just like absolutely stuff that's like not like super cerebral, but just kind of like goofy and. Yeah just yeah. wacky I, I like that i feel like especially like i don't know i feel like there's so much pressure to like you have to have very refined taste in order to like yes. enjoy something and yeah. it's like i just want to be able to enjoy this garbage piece of media and acknowledge that it's bad but i like it so it's good like yes. i don't i know it's not like reinventing the wheel or anything right that's but, a thousand percent like yeah. I, I agree with that a thousand percent because like we do like i mean we had fan service and like other anime related podcasts and so i felt like a pressure of like oh you can't like the basic stuff you can't yeah. like the, the baseline oh, yeah. you have to like the good stuff like the stuff that's like the high rated the the, the, the top tier like, oh, that's not that's normie shit no i can't like yeah. this so you, can, you can like the normie shit but also you can like the ridiculous <laughs> shit mm -hmm. a la jojo's a la jojo I could have Damn, a whole career yeah. of making 100%. very mediocre films. That's really what I kind of oh want to do. Noah. Like, I don't want to be an auteur. I don't yeah. want to be, you know, I don't want to make something that makes billions of dollars. I just want to make mediocre garbage movies and just oh live God. off of that. That's it. What if you, but you could do all of that and be Adam Sandler. <laughs> well, okay, that's true. Sure. I will say this. I do not enjoy, this is a random thing I have about Adam Sandler. I do not enjoy his comedies. Like I, the last movie that I, that I fell into as a trap was Click way back in, what year was that? 2006? Oh, yes. Stone that, Age? Yeah. That, that movie, Stone whoa, Age. That movie takes a twist and, oh, you feel terrible by the end. But that was the last Adam Sandler film I ever saw. Wow. Um, and I do need to see what is it, Uncut Gems? But that's not him being funny. That's him being. That's a, him being. That's serious. like a, being serious. That's a Safety Brothers film, right? But exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think so. But yeah. but I don't like Adam Sandler movies. But I appreciate what Adam Sandler does, which is he just makes movies so he can put his friends in his movies. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. That's pretty wholesome. Hang out. They just hang out and make movies. Yes. That I respect. That I respect. Not his movies, but just him. <laughs> just him. The mindset. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty wholesome. That's what we need need nowadays. Yeah. Just hire your friends. Hire your friends, friends, yeah. Just put, just put nepotism. Stuff. Yeah, nepotism. I was gonna say that's just the word nepotism. cold. Just, nep just do nepotism. Just, just, nepotism. So it reminds me, hiring your friends reminds me of when um your friends are moving and they'll they ask you to help and they'll pay you with like pizza and beer. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's See, what that reminds me of. Yep. I'm thirty five. I, I can't I can't do that anymore. If you gotta move, please hire a mover. Oh please yeah. Do, like I, I can't I will do never... it. I can't do yeah. it anymore. <laughs> At this point, you were you're obligated. At this point, if you're moving and you're like our age, like 25, 30, you're obligated yeah. to hire a moving company. Like, it's time ever. to stop relying on your friends. This is a PSA. I'm telling you now, your friends will help you. They don't want to, and they will hold it against you. So do not ask your friends. It's worth it. Hire the moving company. Nobody has to worry about anything. Just, just, just do it. Just do it. I will. I I will say this. Like literally, 
dovetailing off of that, a friend of mine moved very close to where I live. And when I say move very close, we can basically play football catch uh, from our backyards. Um, nice. But I didn't see, I thought it was nice, but I did not want to help this person move. So oh, no. the most that I did was just look at them through my blinds, watching them move. Cause I was kind of <laughs> oh like, my God, no I was like, please, I please. And then I'm texting them and I'm like, Hey, sorry about that. Just saw your message. I just woke up, but it was like five in the <laughs> afternoon. Busy. And I'm like, let me know if you still need help moving. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait. No, you gotta do the power play, man. You gotta go out with like a glass of tea and going, that looks heavy. That looks yeah. very heavy. It's hot. Good luck with that. Because <laughs> now you've set this, like you've said that you were busy and that you couldn't, but next time you're able to help. Oh my That's God. like, see, I don't know why like, Kyle was talking about buying a pickup truck. What? I, I don't know. Like, why would why in this day and age would you buy a pickup truck? Because hire somebody. Yeah. It's oh, literally wait. easier. Oh, you mean like People he was going to do, do it, it as, for a, money. as a business? He was going to no. gonna purchase no, a truck? No, he wants his next car to be like a, a pickup truck. Oh. And I'm like, why? He's like, well, in case somebody needs to, I want to move or someone else needs it. Like, no. No, fuck that. Hire you, don't. <laughs> you, you don't. <laughs> you don't. Get a car. You live in Austin. Get a car. <laughs> I this think, is so funny. I think Texas... <laughs> There's an obli I think there's a quota or some type of obligation. Like I would say, if you live in the state of Texas, if you are driving just at one point in time, randomly, you just anytime you're on the highway, you're probably on I-35 if you're in Texas, 90% yeah. of the time, just yep. driving down I-35, just take a moment, stop and count how many trucks are around you. I can guarantee you there's going to be at least four. I don't yes. know what is up with well, that's four, a very but it's four. low estimate. Yeah. One's right? going like to be a Ford F-150 <laughs> as well guaranteed <laughs> exactly <laughs> and it's gonna be like the not the the base model what whatever has that's gonna be super duty baby what is it yeah that's it that's it it's gonna it's gonna super have duty. dualies it's gonna because have because they like, got what? it during truck month wait <laughs> ford true. month that's what it is. having ford truck month what month isn't ford truck month yeah having a small car in austin is the worst Oh, I think it's the best. I think you get to park anywhere. Oh, that's that's true. It's it's like when you're uh you're parked and you're back trying to back out and you're parked in between two giant ass trucks and you can't oh. like see behind you or who's coming. That's that's true. the that's worst. True. That is oh, true. true. Yeah. I just hate when there's traffic and there's a truck in front of you and you can't see yep. anything that is happening. You can't yep. tell yep. what's going on because yep. all you see is a license plate and then chances are the truck will have that whole like hanging ball thing i hate that oh my so much god. What is that? i hate what that. Is that it's just so gross oh my god men need to stop <laughs> we hey we do oh i want to get a giant pair of shears and every time i get close to one of those in my car i'm gonna lean out the my front window and oh snip him off oh especially when i'm stuck in traffic i'm coming for your balls <laughs> Do you remember those? Uh, do you remember those smart vehicles, like those smart cars that look like what Urkel had in Family Matters? Yeah, like yeah. the real tiny. I yeah. I thought about that, but in my head, I was like, I would only ever drive one of those smart cars only if everyone else did it, because I hmm. imagine if everyone on the road drove those, accidents would look more like bumper cars at that point. Oh yeah, accidents oh would just God. be fun. They would be a fun <laughs> be inconvenience. Fun. And you just bounce off of each other and stuff like that. But like, why would you want to drive in those smart cars when you have F-150 Super Duty for a truck month guy literally right next to you? Like, he's just going to like careen well, right over you. I have, two, so. I have two options as to why this is a good idea. One, if the truck <laughs> is big enough, you can then uh, like, what's that movie? A uh, Christmas Vacation under the truck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or... Or if you can find a way to fasten a ramp to the back of that Ford F-150, you can then drive into the bed. You're light enough that they're not going <laughs> to you know, notice. Like and you can Hunter, sit back there the and get taken around. I don't think anyone remembers Spy Hunter, but that was a dope video game where you come out of a truck. And then you, anyway, you, you can move the camera off of me, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you not perceive me. <laughs> can, you drive the, can, you drive, can you drive into the truck? Yeah, and then like if you drive into the truck, it's like a superpower thing. So you get like a better car when you come back Ooh. out of the truck. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty dope concept. Uh, don't recommend you do it in real life. But <laughs> no, no, I love the idea. Of, like that's something that's always fascinating me in like games and in real life is like driving into something to pilot a bigger thing. Like I love the idea of a Gundam inside of another Gundam that's controlling it. <laughs> oh man, that's that's, that's like, like a turducken. I like my shoes. Your shoes. Yes, Your my shoes. Do you got them? Do you got them? Do you got them? I got Your them. Shins. Baby. Look at those. Look at these babies. Look at Look these at bad those. boys. Dunks. 
Those with, are pretty cool. With Wait, the, shoes uh... into shoes? I'm confused. What's up? Uh, did you say shoes into shoes? What? No, okay. So, so how does so this relate? His, I'm these confused. Are, these are called uh, turduncans, like a turducken. Because they're, they're, they're Nike Dunks. And, yeah. it, oh, okay. and it's a little collab with uh, with concept. And it's just called Turduncan just because it's got like some features of a yeah. duck, some features of what else well, is if in you, a Turduncan. If you buy the full box, turkey. the socks are a turkey. Oh. Oh no, the, the, the oven, the box itself is the box an is oven. Like, oh, that's that's a oh, turkey oven. Yeah. And the socks are chicken socks. So okay, you put the funny. socks inside of the uh, the duck shoes, then you put the duck shoes inside of the turkey box. And so it's a turduck turduncan. Yeah. I what see color now. Are your okay. laces again? Thank you. What color laces uh, did you I did you them have? yellow. I did the them like yellow one. Yellow. That's a good touch. That's a good they touch. They came with brown, but I was like, no, they if I'm wearing better. these, like I'm going with the Did the you get the cranberry yellow. sauce uh, laces too? I wish that'd be dope, oh, man. Man, sorry, we we've, we've derailed to talk about. Hey, no, that ties into. It's okay. I wasn't on. Uh, I wasn't on. What are you buying this morning? So I missed the shoe talk. So. Oh my god. Hey, it well, does. we can talk talk about one of our topics. Yes, Erin um, is correct. Yes, I don't. You say you want to. You want to lead us in. Or you want sure. Me to? Um, it kind of ties into Lil Nas X. Um, <gasps> in I got the light- horses in the back. Why? <laughs> In light of his new music video and single Montero, Call Me By Your Name drop, he also had a shoe drop, supposedly with Nike, unofficially. Uh, like the Satan drop is what he called it. Like Satan, Satan shoes. Satan shoes. Can we get can we get that graphic up? Made Look with these. real human I've blood. Se- I've seen Not the joke joking. on Twitter so much that uh, I couldn't get the COVID vaccine, so instead I got the Satan shoe drop. <laughs> <laughs> I so real, so though? supposedly there's I mean like I think it's official that there is that if if he's not sued and 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 stopped by <laughs> yeah, from right. doing this uh there's going to be 666 payers obviously yes. for the mark of the beast so um cool. but I think someone correct me if I'm wrong I feel like I would buy them but I think the price is just ridiculous like for I think the price the is price again? I thought the price was going to See I thought it was going to be that but then I found an article that said it was going to be 1666 which makes no sense to me that makes sense. I mean, they, are, they do have real human blood, so. <laughs> Supposedly. That one comes with the real blood in it. That's, that's the one. At least make so. it 600 and, or, or 6,666. Oh, shit. Right? Yeah. You're going to so, go there, go there. Like, just, just do it. Wait, how much is it? 1,018. That's a thousand eighteen. Sam just told us it's 1,018. See, it's ridiculous. See? Oh, it's 1018. The verse. It's the verse. It's the verse. That's what it is. 1018. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes Okay, I'll allow it. Leet speak. I got it. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, I got the Bible it. Bible is just leet speak. On me. <laughs> it says devil and leet speak. Says you okay. kids these devil days. Devil and leet speak. Bible leet speak. But I like uh, I like the design of the shoe. I know Aaron, we were talking about it earlier that ah uh, Brian, I forgot to send you, but there was a walking on water. By the way, the, the shoe that we're looking at, the sneaker is the Air Max 97 model, which is probably one of the dopest uh, Air Max in my opinion. Um but uh Cole, I think you said it uh Lil Nas chose that specific shoe because it's his favorite Air Max, is that correct? I did not say that. Oh, Somebody okay. Maybe made I made that. Uh, Maybe I made that. I can Maybe. take credit for it. Sure. Voice, yeah, voice of God said it. I said it. I, the voice I of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Voice of God. Or, or was it uh, Satan that, that got a... That's it. That's what it. Was that? Uncom- <laughs> is that... When you get, I don't think that, that When you get all the producers and the um, technical directors and stuff that work on the show, we need to get them GoXLR uh go XLR, so that way whenever they talk they can do like the big echo effect like here i'm oh, telling whoa, you whoa, now whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Whoa, whoa. See, good I, I don't have that so i just decided to get one of these I cheap hate. things from uh bought it 35 dollars on amazon oh and my god no wow it is shout out yeah <laughs> <laughs> i like how it lights up but it doesn't like go with so, your voice it's not like so, the levels so the thing is it does you can you can connect this thing bluetooth to basically your phone and so it will move with whatever oh beat of music God. but yeah i haven't figured out how nor am i going to spend time trying to figure out if no. if it'll actually go with my voice for one i'll be flat the entire time so i don't think i want to <laughs> see my my flat range being represented uh in, 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 in colors so that but that's it. I don't have Go XLR. That costs like four hundred dollars. This costs thirty five buckaroos on Amazon. So that's a little plug to Amazon. <laughs> that's yeah. what you're buying. It, Welcome. It, We're in the morning podcast. <laughs> we, now. Are, <laughs> we have literally derailed this thing. 
<laughs> Have you guys watched the video? Yes. Oh, it's good. yes. I watched yes. it just now, like uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes nice. ago. Nice. Good job. Cole, thoughts? What I watched think? it yeah, three know. times this morning. It's dope. I love there's it. A, I mean, a... He has like some of the best music videos just in production value and style oh, yeah. and like visual storytelling. So. There's a lot of CGI. And I'm really oh, yeah. glad the CGI oh, awesome. looks good. Does everyone remember back when like the CGI and music videos was just trash? Like, does anyone remember the uh, what is the song? The the I'm blue and I'm yep, Michael Sixty Five. Oh yeah, yes. yes. That, that, I like how that's five. all our our first point of reference. I was literally that gonna was say it. just that. Everything was like really crazy back fog, then. but but like now now the CGI cult? looks amazing. I'm just curious how much that that music video cost. That's mm. that's what I'm wondering because it looked there was there were like uh stone versions of Lil Nas like in the oh, crowd yeah. in yeah. heaven yeah. and then he slid down and and infinite length of of, of stripper, stripper pole, pole which, <laughs> so which I recently learned to hell that they they actually rotate that's how that's how the the the, the pole dancers can can do the spin I thought it was like they were just defying physics and friction they're just really greased up i thought they were just lubed up and just able to just like <laughs> spin like that but no it actually rotates you learn something new every day when, and oh. now you know there's no oh, you do yeah there stripper you go. Poles rotate. <laughs> <laughs> this and week's episode of i have notes <laughs> is brought to you by stripper poles rotating <laughs> and, the letter, and, and the letter x and wd-40 and the letter x wd-40 we were just talking um, about the music video. We were talking about the... Yes. Um... So th what was interesting to me about uh, Lil Nas X is that I feel like he kind of ends up, I wouldn't say inheriting, but almost like kind of uh, contributing to like this line, I feel like of, um, I, I wouldn't say, I guess it is kind of like futuristic black uh, musical artists that mm -hmm. really like embrace like... Uh, <laughs> futurism and the only reason why i talk about that is because i watched a video a while ago about how missy elliott was like a huge mm. um, proponent of that back when um she was making a lot of music videos mm. uh super duper fly super duper fly with the trash bag <laughs> uh with, with the trash bag um, i costume, tried that you know as a mean? kid nice <laughs> it's, hard. It's, it's hard you need something um, to keep the air going <laughs> and so like i i thought that was honestly really fascinating because if only because I feel like it's so much more um mm, how do I put it I feel like it stands out a lot more I, I pay more attention to it um mm -hmm. when uh musical artists like Missy or Lil Nas X do it um and I think I feel like it's part of it maybe just because like they imbue some meaning into it or mm -hmm. um they they have this thing going whereas for some reason when Katy Perry does it I just don't take it as seriously but maybe that's just me um <laughs> just being kind of like uh what's the word maybe i just don't i have a, a prejudice against i mean I think, Perry. I think i understand what you're saying because if yeah. i could use those specific artists that you're referring to so we have like missy ellie and katie perry and lil nas x to me maybe it's just because i don't know these people individually but for katie perry i'm not going to say that she is not talented but mm -hmm. i i maybe it's the sense that you feel like the the music is manufactured like it's that bubblegum thing oh, so yeah. maybe for like lil nas and missy ellie you kind of feel like they're 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 artists that are trendsetters and they and they yeah. want to be yeah. visionaries while for katie perry maybe to me i'm thinking of my own bias maybe it feels like nah producer told you to do that because it, it just mm. looks kind of cool put a shark also, in your music video as well also you have like a one hand like little nas x singing and having a music video about the struggles of being like a, a gay black man in that community versus yeah. katie perry singing about california girls Right. California girls got it rough, like, though. They got it rough, though. It's hard on those streets. It's hard. No, she's thinking it's all good. It's all good to California girls. Daisy Duke's bottom on top, whatever. Like, it's, it's undeniable. Sun-kissed. Yeah. Sun-kissed, yeah. Fancy. I'm impressed that you fancy. remember all of those lyrics called. Wow. Yeah, they, that was they, impressive. California girls. What's up? For, for me, I just focused more on the video. I, I never paid attention to what Katy Perry was actually saying in those songs. Very but, true. I think you know, like I do that a lot, yeah. You know. I mean, it's also kind of like, it's, it's the same execution with the music video as well, where it's just kind of more like, yeah, you're saying that bubblegum kind of poppy, like, oh, this is fun versus like, I mean, the visual storytelling in um, Montero, uh, Call Me By Your Name, is in line with what the, the lyrics in the song is about. Yeah. So. And he kills Satan. And he kills oh, Satan. Yeah. Just he kills, kills, kills Satan. Satan. Aaron, you were, you were Satan, gonna no say idea. something. Where are you gonna say? Oh, I was just gonna say I do. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I, I've always been under the impression that pop is very white dominant. 
Uh, uh. So it does get kind of like very stale or like repetitive, I guess. And I think, yeah, I think... seconding the bubblegum uh, mm -hmm. trend following aspect. Well, I think mm -hmm. pop appropriates a lot of stuff from other genres and then tries to make it inoffensive. Also true, mm. yeah. Like they I take mean, a lot yeah, of elements what... from other genres. Pop and just like, is. Oh, but we don't want to, I mean, because this song is very like controversial now. Um, right. Music video and song are very controversial. Which it should have been. <laughs> about the Katy Perry way, like that's not as a controversial of a song. Yeah. I don't so. know, she kissed some girls once, apparently. Yeah, but then she <gasps> didn't. Then she, she went liked back it. to she California kissed girls, girls and she liked it. She went back to California girls after doing it? Oh, you can't go back. She went no. back to Orlando Bloom. That's what. That's what's going oh. on. <laughs> oh, Legolas, Legolas. Who would Legolas, Legolas. Um, William Turner. Some of the interesting stuff uh, with Lil Nas X in that, like, uh, some, I wouldn't say factoids, but things that really kind of just put more context with the song, the release, and what it's about. One, this video comes out after the Vatican supports, after the Vatican announces that they do not support um, oh, um, gay marriage? official gay marriage. Yeah, yeah. like actually like uh, gay unions, I should say. I they do not support that. Um, and then two, uh, a lot of people, especially <laughs> queer people, intrinsically understood that one of the messages that Lil Nas X was like talking about in terms of his this music video is that he's gay so people just tell him to go to hell and so he does he so goes he does. to hell <laughs> and um, he kills satan and he kills he, satan and he should it, be y'all's hero if anything he does it after he <laughs> gives him a lap dance too it's true yeah i one of my initial reactions about the video is actually i just wanted to keep rewatching it and oh, yeah. i don't know <laughs> if it was out of this like desire because i liked it or because i was weirdly like not into it but it made me want to watch it right <laughs> and so i feel like it kind of tapped into like my old like religious upbringing i yeah. was raised catholic as every filipino kid <laughs> is wont to do um and it was one of those like morbid fascinations almost and it, it kind of made me want to watch it more and more and then i realized after a certain point I'm like oh maybe I guess I kind of like it. And then so after I crossed that threshold, I feel like I, I was like, okay, I can stop watching this now that I know I like it. <laughs> I, I kept, Does that ever happen to you? Guys? As I watched the oh, video, yeah. I just kept saying, like, as each scene kept progressing, I just kept saying, good for you. Good. Like, yeah. like in the beginning, I'm like, he's playing like some type of like guitar harp type musical instrument. I was like, good oh, for yeah. you, Lil Nas. Now you're kissing oh, yourself yeah. or an alien version of you. Good for right. you. Now you're going up to the heaven. Good for you. And now you're going down the infinite stripper pole even better good for you because i learned that they <laughs> rotate and that you know noelle. that's how stri <laughs> so, noelle about that somebody in chat said earlier that they do both there's a pin in the top that you can pull oh. that allows Whoa. it to rotate so, so it's like a giant oh. sky dancer See, <laughs> okay here's here's what i think we should do i think there needs to be some type of initiative some type of program that goes into every fire station and then replaces yes. the, 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 the the poles with the rotating ones just to see how firefighters respond to it oh my like, god you know, <laughs> that's oh my god. I also that. why is that the thing that has like come out of fire stations why does everyone know oh there's got to be a fire pole like i know several firefighters who don't have a fire pole at their fire station <laughs> really it's all like one level yeah it's all oh, like one, it is level. one level yeah That's i thought you were gonna say they just jumped down the hole you just ruined which would also yeah, be pretty cool that, yeah you just ruined like my my percept so they all don't sleep upstairs and then and then the only no. way down <laughs> is, the, is their the... house and get on call and gotta go into the station whenever it's time i mean there's sure there's the, people people are the just born as firefighters no well. yeah <laughs> come out of the well, womb with a yeah. uniform with a with a rotating pole like that's yeah, it with, that's, with yeah, a rotating pole, i learned yeah, it rotates <laughs> <laughs> but then yeah i just kept saying good for you then he goes down to hell literally dances on satan good for you then he kills satan i was like i just i just kept i was like i was like i don't see what's so wrong i was like this is like a this is like an inspirational story here i was like oh, <laughs> I, I was on the edge of my seat the whole time just just cheering him on <laughs> Yeah, kind of uh, going back to what Issa was saying earlier, I know, like, uh, somebody who's taken, like, art history classes, uh, there is something, like, very gravitating towards, like, Christian imagery and Catholicism. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I definitely, as, also as somebody who was raised Catholic, and who is also queer, and is no longer part of the church, I was very, like, drawn to it. So, totally yeah. understandable. It's, also, it's... we, oh, sorry, go ahead. You go, you. Oh, I was going to say. Tangent. So, yeah, uh, we were talking about it before the show, but um, that's why you see so much like uh, Christian imagery in like anime because it's just 
So cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, I think it kind of goes to the same kind of fascination that we have with, like, Greek mythos. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Except there are a lot of, like, awesome stories in Christianity and all the other mythos. And so I think it's, yeah, just, I mean, what's it, uh, I forget, like, in high school or something, we were taught that, like, all stories are based off of, like, ten common stories. It's like oh, Canterbury yeah, yeah, right. Tales, Beowulf, mm -hmm. and, like, the Bible is one of them. Just because there's yeah, so many true. stories that people just go, mm -hmm. okay, here's a parable, let's take it and go, yeah, over, sure. go over here. So. And then I hear that stuff comes from, like, Gilgamesh and all that stuff, but I'm no expert. I just <laughs> I just like to watch YouTube videos and go down rabbit holes and all that stuff. But, yeah. Um, but yeah. That's true. I think this is a good time as any to just cut to me. Mid roll. Ooh, ooh, Mid roll. Ooh, ooh, look boo, at boo, boo. Um, not do much the, today. Do those fingers one more time. Yes. Mid roll. <laughs> like a crab. Crab. <laughs> crab rape. Uh, <laughs> uh, I wanted to give a shout out to our lovely Furt members. Um, you guys, you guys know if you have a Free Rooster Teeth account, you can also sign up. For our first Perfect. membership, um, sign up and watch exclusive content. What is going on right now? Ruby is over, but that doesn't mean that Ruby Ruby Volume Eight is over. Doesn't mean Ruby is over. There is the Ruby Grim campaign that is still airing and being done right now as we speak for first members, for members. Um, if you didn't get the chance to see it, Dead Little Roosters is also done. Uh, is up for first members only. I'm in it. You should watch it. Um, and you some did other amazing, stuff, by too. the way. Oh, you thanks, did Noel. In, in Dead Little Thank Roosters. You. Thank you. Oh, you said best girl. Stop. Uh, Don't look at me. Let's get those fingers again. Let's, let's get those fingers. <laughs> choo, 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 choo. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we um, have our little um our little bits now. I have the solid oh, yeah. snake crawling, <laughs> and you have the little crab motion. I'm, I'm just going to do this from yeah. now on. Um, and thank you. Again, first members, really appreciate you guys uh, for sticking around. Um, more stuff for you to come, I'm sure. Uh, so if you guys want to join the Furt Club. Join also, it supports us and our Furt shows. Club. It does. It supports us. Money, please. Money, please. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm done. Thank you, Brian. Mid-roll done. <laughs> Mid-roll done. <laughs> what is next? Uh, do you guys want to talk about anime? Let's talk about I anime. Mean, we do have Cole here. <laughs> Cole's face. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> 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 Mm, go on. <laughs> Whenever we have Cole on, it's because we want to talk about anime. It's true. Oh, is now the time to talk about anime. Oh my gosh. So much has happened. Anime time. Welcome to Fan Service Light. <laughs> <laughs> Which I got the opposite of I fanservice. got the T D one time for, for fan service. It was it was strange. <laughs> I didn't what? know what I got the T D for for you, Kokinos. Uh I think Miles oh. was on. And yeah, was it Issa? But... I don't know if Issa Probably were there. Was. We were oh, doing... That was in the later dying seasons. Yeah. yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> the dark ages. It was at, it was at it was at stage five. And I just remember I was, everyone's like, I Cole, I think you reached out to me and you're like, hey dude, you wanna like TD for this thing? And I was like, yo, dude, sure. Yeah. I guess oh God. I'll press We were buttons. trying to like figure out TDing and Sean was like, Oh yeah, like I think uh I think Noel can TD for you. He was like, All right, sure. <laughs> I can press Where's buttons. Brian? I can do. Which, by the way, it's not that. It's not that simple. Brian is. Brian, are you a TD? Because you are amazing at what you do. Are you a TD, Brian? Is is Brian in the house? Oh, amongst, amongst other, other things, things. Amongst other things. A man of and, many talents. Look and it, it completely is dependent on the show. That show in particular, did, it's not that crazy of a TDing process. Probably the 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 bigger TDs were working on some of the more. Um, uh, complicated Asset shows. Heavy, yeah. yeah, see, yeah, like, like for me, when I did it that day, it became a game after like, because I can't lie, I was, I was I was starting to get bored, but that's just because my attention span is that yeah. of like a soap dish. Um, and I remember oh just trying God, to play hello? a game where I was just like, camera one, camera two, camera one, two, three. And I just, I, by the oh way, God, it wasn't no matching. Hour? It wasn't oh matching God. with what people were talking all the time. And I was like, all right, all right, I'm going to get fired if I don't take this serious. But I thought it was, I thought it was great. I thought it was great, but I don't think it ever, did it ever come out? Cause I don't think, I no one ever reprimanded me for, for doing such so. a terrible job. I don't think it ever came out just cause we, things got complicated around then. Oh, yeah. So at least it wasn't because of my camera one, camera two. <laughs> that was the main thing that complicated two, it. We were like, well, we clearly can't release this. Um, <laughs> we're going to boot off the air. Uh, I, 
Let's like, just go ahead and cancel the show. Anyway. So thanks, <laughs> thanks Noel. Like, they're like, they're thanks. like, why is the, the camera? The band service why is the camera keep out? changing at 120 beats per minute? Like, why? Why is it doing that? Why is it doing this at at a uh, at at Skrillex BPM at some dubstep BPM? No, why, why, why did doing it switch to this camera that no one's in front of? No one's in front of. <laughs> is that a phone like what is that like yeah. like who's who's doing this but anyway yeah thanks for letting me td by the way thanks that was a long time ago <laughs> anytime anime anime <laughs> that's what we're talking about <laughs> um, what happened what happened what happened in the previous season what's happening now are you guys watching any Oh, uh, I'm watching it. Invincible, watch. but I don't think that counts as anime. It's... Or does it count as no, nah, it doesn't count as anime. I'm I'm one of those people who says any kind of animation is anime. Uh, so SpongeBob nice. is anime. Yes. Family Guy's anime. Yes. I don't nice. care. I'm King of the Hill. Yeah, King of the Hill is my favorite anime. Because I do I do always want to like nod to the the culture that makes anime and like Very not true. remove that from it. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Um, <laughs> I mean, isn't anime just literally their word for animation? Yeah. It's true. Yeah. So I, it's mostly because I'm just being a stick in the mud, and yeah. especially at people who are like rubies and an anime. I mean, I uh, yes. Yeah. At a certain point, to me, it's like, well, yeah, because I know, like, whenever people are, are more prickly about it, they're afraid of taking the culture that makes it out of it, and like, very true. Kind ah. of just whitewashing it, maybe. <laughs> like, so, ah. going, oh, anything that we make is anime. It's like, yeah. okay. Yeah. But also, so it, I don't think it matters. Like, I think if it feels yeah, like yeah. anime, you, you can watch yeah. it. You don't have to only watch anime or whatever. Is there, it official yeah. that, that Avatar The Last Airbender is referred to as, like, Western anime? anime. Is it, is There's yes. no official. There is no official. That's the thing. There's no okay. official. If, it, if you're going by the official sure. definition of anime, then everything is anime. Because it's the Japanese word saying all animation is anime. If you're mm. going by, like, what the Western culture identifies as Japanese created for a Japanese audience, then it's not anime. Mm. So, mm-hmm. I, I don't, again, I don't, I don't really care. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's anime. Anime. Fight either fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can fight, yeah. Yeah, I like, fight on the I didn't want cool. Fight. I'll watch. I'll just watch it. I'll just watch whatever I want. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'll watch the King of the Hill anime. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Um, I've like actually been doing a lot of catching up because we finally, um, my son and I finally like kind of bit the bullet and we're like, you know what? Fine. We'll get the Funimation account. So we got a Funimation <gasps> account. <laughs> I, I need to do that still. So um the it's it's quite interesting in terms of like um what what's going to happen later because of the merger but for now let's just just gonna say that um some of the some stuff is on funny and some stuff is on crunchyroll cole to you what to me oh i was gonna say yeah it's been crazy because like funimation's definitely had better content lately which is why like i'm good i'm glad y'all are getting the funimation accounts because Crunchyroll definitely has some good stuff. I mean, last season, I don't think it's hyperbole to say, like, last season was the best season of anime in a very, very long time. Mm-hmm. I feel, it was so good, and I feel bad for it not was, watching anything. Yeah, kind of, it was, right? It's on my list, though. It's so many good things. Did you, yeah. did you watch anything? No. Jujutsu? I watched Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen, Kaisen season, season two. I, so, I haven't even watched Juju yet. Juju? Oh, Juju. <laughs> Juju. So Jujutsu called, Kaisen Juju. is it's crazy, because it's the first time that I've ever... Not... Okay, so... Wait till I get to the end. It's the first time I've ever watched a show that then made me go read the manga that I have never been excited seeing a panel to see it animated until uh-huh. Jujutsu Kaisen. Cool. Mm. Nice. Like, I always go, well, the manga is going to like the manga and my brain's going to be better than whatever is animated. Yeah. Until Not Jujutsu anymore. Kaisen came along. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Those fights so, are amazing. The fights are amazing. The no one's ready for the next seasons no one's ready for the next season so, okay, they so, also just oh, no. they just announced that there's going to be a movie, movie. of the yeah. prequel, prequel the prequel arc volume oh, zero prequel. okay yep. so i That's do have a right. question for for all of you here um yes. how i i tend to do a thing to where i will watch an anime and then i really do want to read the manga but I feel like it can kind of spoil the anime. Maybe, maybe I need to change my mindset because I used to do that with I, like Naruto. I did that the entire yeah. time, and then uh. just like what you said, like for you with with Juju and the fight scenes in Juju. For for me, it was like Naruto as well. Like those fight scenes were just insane. But yeah. I somehow my brain started getting into a thing to where I would like with Demon Slayer specific is where I realized it yep. started. I would I remember watching the first couple of uh, episodes of the anime. 
for for Demon Slayer. Then I read the uh, the manga for that same chapter or whatever or, or season yeah. or whatever. And I remember just going, ah, now I kind of know what's happening. And it didn't ruin it for me. But like in my head, I kind of want to do a thing to where I want to watch the anime first. But then I'm just so behind. I yeah. don't know what to do. Well, that's it's that's how I felt man. about that's how I felt about my hero. Like reading the my yeah. hero manga completely ruined the series because I've been able to go. Oh well, this arc sucks. This arc sucks. So I don't want to watch any of these anime because like, <laughs> I hated the arc, so I'm not going to like the animation of it. Yeah. Um, and then I'm like, well, I only want to get to the good stuff, but also I want to like I'll want to go back and I, it it really is like the OCD triggering in me where if I see that I have watched episode twenty and then unwatched, 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 you've watched episode twenty five. I'm like, I need, to, oh, I need no. to go and watch those, even if it's just like scrubbing through all the way. Yeah, um, the completionist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get those fillers. I'm glad you brought up my hero for for a second. Like, I if we want to talk about other stuff, but real quick, I I hopped onto the my hero train really late in the game, and mm. when I say really late, I used to live in the Dallas Fort Worth area, and 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 on occasion I got a chance to like do freelance video work for Funimation, yeah. and so I got a chance to work with the voice the the funny the voice actors who they're all amazing yeah amazing talent and amazing uh, people but i got a chance to work with them and not like you know fanboy over them but then uh, after after working yeah, with oh them, no. i started yeah. watching it and i was just like yo i was right next to all might for a whole year <laughs> and I didn't say nothing. Wait, I will... wait. yeah yeah go ahead you, you, you go finish okay so like the the interesting thing about all my or chris abbott who's an amazing person in in real life um because he's also vegeta too which is crazy because and watson ruby yes oh, like, yeah so the the funny thing about chris and i call him chris because we're friends at this point in my mind um is <laughs> is that i remember he's like, who are you again I, exactly. <laughs> I remember a long time ago, when I say a long time ago, I'm talking Dragon Ball Z, you know, Adult Swim, Toonami era. Um, there was, uh, I used to live in an area where it was like the, it was like next to Keller. Long story short, Funimation was like maybe two blocks from where I lived. When Whoa! I was when I was 17, I worked at a GameStop, and without knowing that Funimation was even close to where I live. One day I'm working, I'm, it was my first job ever, I'm working and this guy comes in and he has a very familiar voice. And I'm just like, where? I was oh like, my I, God. I, I was like, where am oh, I? No. Do I know you? But I was like, I can't know you because you're a grown man. I'm 17 and I don't really hang out oh with adults God. like that. Stranger danger. I don't know adults. Stranger <laughs> danger. And so, so then he like, he buys this game. I forget, it was some game on PS2. That's how old this story is because the PS2 was out. So we're talking early aughts at this point. He leaves. And then my uh, my my shift manager comes in. His name was Ethan, and I was like, "Yo, Ethan, this dude came in, and he had a very familiar voice. I couldn't put like my my thumb on it. I don't know what it is." Ethan's like, "How did he pay?" And I was like, "He paid with a credit card. <gasps> Let's go check the receipt." And oh then we God. go to the receipt, and I look, and I go, "Uh, who the hell is Chris Sabat or Sabat? I don't know how to say his name." And then Ethan just oh goes, God. "Oh, dude, that's Piccolo, bro. That's Vegeta." And I was like, "What? What do you what? mean that's Vegeta?" I sold Vegeta so, a game. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so the thing is, when I finally got a chance, you know, fast forward to like damn near twenty years later, where I'm working at Funimation, and I'm working with Funimation because I was freelancing, and I got a chance to work with with Chris Abbott, I. It took everything in my being to not tell him this story, by the way, because I just kept staring. And and instead of like hiding it and being professional, I would just stare at him. I would just be. Oh, my like, God. No. Way. In my head, in my head you know, I'm just like, don't tell him the story. Don't tell so him the story. What you should have done is uh, like when you were like doing the rap, like champagne shot, whatever, going up, you're like, hey, how was that game? <laughs> like, how, how, was, how, was, how was Jack how was, and Daxter? How was <laughs> how was Dark Cloud Two? <laughs> yeah, how was Dark Cloud Two? Hmm? Did you ever beat it? He's like, what? Oh You're like, what? It was me. I, <laughs> I still have the receipts. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, yeah, but like framed so everything. Yeah, but oh, so oh my god. But yeah, working working with the with the funny crew is as I call them because again I feel like I know them uh, it, like personally now. They're all amazing people and and oh, again yeah. very strange because now that I'm hopped onto the My Hero Academia train, as I listen to them talk, I just go, I know all Mike. I know him. I know him. I know, him. I know, him. I know you. I know him. I know Todoroki. I know you. I know you. <laughs> I love the it. end of that story. Yeah. That was a good that was a good story. Thank you. Good story.
I told it a lot faster much, than much. I th than I could. I had a re I have, I've had this thing Speed workshop road. for for years, so I could have told this in a longer version, but I condensed it. I condensed. It. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Noel. Oh, yeah. This is like you're your your confessional of the story. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> now we'll turn into an RTAA. <laughs> Oh, I've got hey, more. I, I've got more. We'll save them for, for another day, but I've got more. Uh, I may have recommended uh, last week's episode for an RTAA. So fingers oh, crossed. What was fingers it? What crossed. was it? We, we'll see, hopefully. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Now, yeah, I had a lot of fun this episode, so. Yeah. What? Next time on Dragon Balls. RTAA. Is there anything, if you guys know, is there anything in this upcoming anime season that you know you're going to watch? Nagatoro is going to be your number one. Don't bully me, Nagatoro. Oh, yeah. Cole, tell us. Tell us. To me, it's the best version of those high school girl boy, girl bullies boy because she likes him. Oh, Nagatoro, right? Yes. I've been obsessed with the manga for so like a long time. Don't like, toy what? with me, Miss Nagatoro. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, a... Shaman King is coming back. Oh, what? Yeah. 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 They announced um, this like a while back. I still, I still get shocked every time. There's, um, <laughs> if you've watched Zombieland Saga, Zombieland Saga is top tier, top tier anime. Um, there, okay, so the two that I think is like new stuff that people haven't may not have heard as much about. Um, one, do you remember that? Uh, do you remember uh, By It's Cover, the show we used to yes. make? Yes. Yes. Do you okay. remember the one that Jordan was on? Was are we talking about the spider one? No, we're talking about eighty sixers. Oh, talking, the, that's an anime. An anime. That's right. Yep. Eighty six. <laughs> what is uh, that? Eighty six. It's like um, there the countries are two countries are fighting. They all develop drone technology, and it's like, hey, we can fight in peace because mindless robots are killing oh. each other. But it's actually not mindless robots. Instead, it's people inside of tanks that are killing oh, each God. other. But the people think it's just mindless robots. What are you gonna do? Wow. Um, um what is Also, that? I'm I'm looking at a long list. Um why the fuck is Hitalia still a thing? And why is it coming back? <laughs> I don't know. Get it out of here. Get out. It is 2021. We have moved past the need of but, Italia. Aaron, <laughs> a, a show that I think you're going to love. Have you heard of Tokyo Revengers? It sounds familiar. It sounds like so, a, a Hideo Kojima game. Yes, it's <laughs> the dumbest name, Tokyo Revengers. So it's okay, dude. Dude's a man. He's dude's an adult. Man. He's forty. I don't know how old he is. Um, he uh finds out that his uh his ex girlfriend from high school has been murdered by a, a gang in Tokyo. Oh no! Uh, and so he's like, "Ah oh, man, this sucks. Shucks. This is the worst thing." <laughs> yeah, shucks. Until he wakes up and he's in high school again. Oh. So it, a la erased, where he goes back in time and is like reliving oh. his life. Oh. And essentially, he's at the kind of the school where the gang that wind up killing his ex girlfriend originated and started <gasps> to get their uh, sp like spread their power over over the city. So he's going to infiltrate the gang in an order to hopefully prevent the murder of his oh. future ex girlfriend. But then he ends sounds... up becoming wow. he ends up falling into like the, like just the, the mind frame of the gang, which yeah. basically he ends up killing his own. I already told you the plot. I I, I ruined it. I ruined it. <laughs> I ruined it. I ruined it. I know. Now you see me. Now you don't. That's yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I'm looking, at the, don't. looking at the character art. It's very interesting. Yeah. Wow. So. These are some. These are some boys. These are some little delinquent boys. There's also <laughs> some big drama shows that I'm. I'm really interested in. Like what? Um, this one's gonna have like the other form of anime dumb name. I shaved, then I brought a high school girl home. I fucking hate um, this. Oh, so, okay. No, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. It's very dramatic, very sad. Uh, oh, no. dude, this isn't shapes? the sad part. Dude, um, uh, asks his office mate, his coworker. He's like, hey, I've I've had a crush on her for so long. I'm gonna ask her out. Let's go. Asks her out, and while he's while they're on the date, she turns him down. So. Okay. Um, he's dejected and walking home and he sees this girl kind of like rummaging through the trash to find food and like was ultimately like, Hey, I can, I can help provide for you, whatever. Mm. Um, brings her home, uh, go to sleep, wake up the next day. And she's like, Hey, yeah. Uh, I ran away from my house, like super up North. Um, I usually, uh, pay for all this with sex. So I'll have sex with you now. And he's like, no, 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 I don't want that. And so it's kind of like a dramatic story about her and him, like, developing like a friendship mm. does he shave though 
Probably. What or does, does he? Shave? Or does he join a? Does he infiltrate does a gang? He so instead of sex, instead of sex, sexual favors, he uh, he has her do different work. One that entails washing dishes, doing laundry. So a touching relationship between a heartbroken adult and a runaway high school girl begins. Ah, uh, I hope they turn sexual. So he's a, a nanny now. Yeah, <laughs> a nanny. <laughs> the the title is Higehiro because uh, that is like you know there's a title and then there's like the long yeah. subtitle. Oh yes. Um, if you guys are interested in watching Higehiro, I H I G E H I R O. Um, yeah, th this Wikipedia labels it as it is a Japanese rom com light novel series as well, or like that's yep. what it's based off of. So quite interesting. With a title like that, it's I think it's safe it's, to assume it's that a it's a yeah, it's light, a light novel, novel at some point. <laughs> oh yeah, everything is at this point. Yeah, yeah it's true. Because they're all everyone's trying to sell books. That's my that's my shtick. That's my twenty twenty one shtick. Everyone's trying to buy books, sell books. Sorry. Not enough people buy books. People are trying to sell books. But if you sell books, what? some people's got to buy it. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. I want to buy a book? before we end out. <laughs> oh. uh, maybe, Cole. What is the plot of your light novel specifically? Your. Mm. What Mine? is Cole's specific light novel plot? Do you infiltrate a gang? Um. So we talked about it at the beginning of the show. He likes murder, treasure, and adventure. Yeah. Ooh, well, mine was going to be that um, one day I'm playing out in the street and I get hit by a truck. Okay. And I wake up <laughs> and I'm actually nuts? a bunch of treasure. Oh. oh. And uh, people take my pieces and scatter them to all the corners of the world. So instead, I start to learn how to talk to people to uh, recombine my pieces so that way we can pay for a new body for me. Through the So, ah. so you, are, you are the individual pieces of, of, I'm of all treasure. I'm all coins, yeah. The coins and the diamonds and the ruby necklaces. That's me. So what you're a panty and stocking season two. Doubloons. <laughs> <Dubloons. laughs> but French then doubloons. it oh. turns out that the real treasure is the friends they made along we the way. Along that's, the, that's, the, that's the that's the spin. That's your, the, the title of your light novel is Setting Sail for One Piece. <laughs> Setting Sail for One Piece. I turned into a treasure and now I don't know what to do because all of my uh, bones have been scattered to all the different corners of the world. And I need to ask people to help me find my body. Otherwise, I'll die old and alone. And then you make friends. That's my title. And I'm Cole, sticking thank to you it. so much. <laughs> I love it. You have brought me so much joy. <laughs> Good. And that is our show, everyone. <laughs> thank you, Noel. Thank you, Aaron. And thank you very much, Cole. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Isa. Today. Thank you, Isa. Thank you. Wait, crab Thanks for fingers, thanking crab, crab me. Crab fingers. Crab fingers. Crab fingers. Um. Uh. I. Uh, I don't have, I called out a lot of uh, videos for you guys to watch. So next stream that we have coming up uh, tomorrow on RTTV is Death Battle Cast, according to this. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. I have notes. See you next time. Bye. Bye.